This is News 8 at 11. Hi everybody, I'm Darren Kramer. And I'm Ann Craig. A major traffic detour is underway tonight and it's going to last the whole weekend. A portion of I-84 is just completely shut down. Yeah, a heavily used portion of I-84 shut down at 9 o'clock tonight. It'll be that way through the weekend so that two bridges can be replaced. This is a big operation. It will take some major detours, though, to get people around that work. News 8's Bob Wilson is out there live tonight with how commuters are handling what could be kind of a tricky couple of days here, Bob, right? It is really going to be a tricky couple of days. Bring your patience if you're getting off around exit 30. This is what Interstate 84 has been reduced to, just a trickle of cars between two orange barrels. That's it. You're looking at the detour right now. It is a short detour, but a long line and a long way to get there. But it really is an engineering feat what they're trying to do over this weekend. If you take a look up over here, you can see exactly what they've got going on. They've got that huge, that's the bridge right there that they're going to be replacing it, and it's going to slide into that. They've got a red hydraulic ram or jack up underneath there. That supposedly holds 3 million pounds, and that's just going to literally lift the old one off. They're going to just crush it, take it away, and put the new one in there. Meanwhile, it has been a long day for motorists in this area. Below the bridge, crews hammer away at the concrete, but on Interstate 84, tempers flare as the sun sets and traffic backs up. One of the state's biggest highways is shut down in both directions at exit 30. It's going to be a pain because I don't even know how to get back into Hartford later on tonight. So, uh, you know, I don't know what the deal is. I don't know anything about what they're doing or how long it's going to take. It's one of the busiest stretches of Interstate 84. The DOT estimates 85,000 cars travel by exit 30 a day. That's why the bridges have to be replaced. They're just worn out and tired. At two million pounds a piece, it won't be easy. With crews of about 500 working around the clock until Monday morning, it will create a mess for those trying to get back to New York. GPS. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, we're going to find the quickest ride out. All right, so you're going to use the phone. Yes. So why do you ask, is it important to close down the highway, especially for two days? Normally, they just squeeze it down to one lane and let everybody get by. That's because the size of the project. They say it's like ripping off a Band-Aid. You can either do it quickly in two days or it can take months, almost a year, to narrow it down. DOT thought this would be the better way because of the massive scale of the project. We will be removing the two old bridges and we will be lifting and sliding these two new structures into place, literally having the road open for Monday morning by 5 a.m. So here are some alternate routes. I-691 will take you around the detour to Interstate 91 or you can use Route 9 to get to 91 and 691. Either of those will get you back up to Interstate 84 in Hartford. Either way, you need to bring lots of patience and a good attitude like Chloe. Yeah, it'll be all right. I got four days off. People will get around it. It's one exit. It's you one have exit. the right attitude. You get off, you get back on. <laughs> you got to just love that attitude. And then you're back out here live looking at that is the section of bridge that they're going to be replacing. That's the brand new one that's going in. They have two sections they have to do, one on this side of Interstate 84, one on the other side of Interstate 84. So if you can, go do one of those detours. We're not estimating about a 45-minute delay or backup, depending on which direction you're coming. Go to WTNH.com for all the details. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live at Exit 30 on Interstate 84, News 8.